Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Zen from Zen World and I hope you're having a great day. So today is October 16th and it is brand new comic book day. So let's see some of the pickups that I have. I didn't get that many pickups because I wanted to condition myself to get certain books and just stick with a couple of stories than rather to get a whole bunch and then drop a couple along the way. So um, first, I, I, I did catch up with um, Absolute Carnage. So I'm, I picked up number four today. It's a pretty cool cover. All right pretty awesome um looking forward to reading it i heard a couple of spoilers but i'm okay with the spoilers um because i still want to read the book right next the next two books on my list is um uh, flash forward number one right this came out i think a month ago and also picked up today flash forward number two um kind of a informal spoiler it says trapped in the dark multiverse so i'm interested to see what's going on with wally west um because i do know that he's done some things right uh some of you who have been reading the books knows that he's done some pretty bad things so um i want to see what's going on with him and what it means what does flash forward mean right i'm into time traveling and books like that so i think I feel like Wally's in a race to like fix things, right? I don't know if he could fix things after the events of something else. Don't want to spoil too much, but I'm looking forward to it. So if you read this book, definitely post in the comments what did you, what was your um your view on the book? Because I know it's a mini series, and I kind of like the mini series because they're a little bit digestible. Um, my big absolute um after Powers of X, right? I mean Powers of Ten and House of X. I got X-Men number one. Got this variant cover. Uh, I like it because it kind of gives me reminiscence into uh, Powers of Ten and the House of X. And we know that Jonathan Hickman, uh, Leonia Francis Yu, Jerry and Jerry Alan Gulen, right? And then um, Sonny Joe are on this book or go are is on this book so i'm pretty interested i know this one is packed with kind of like the summers family like cyclops um corsair havoc um a couple other characters too so i'm interested to read in this book i haven't read it and i just picked up this variant cover because these variant covers are gonna like kill my wallet but um got this one for ten dollars not too bad so all all together my i got this in a top loader uh because I want to add it to the list of other books. And these are regular ba um, bags and boards. So I'm interested to see how all these books are. I didn't pay more than $25 for everything altogether, which is pretty good, considering that this was a $10 book. Um, I, w I hit my budget. My budget was basically under um, $30 this week. Um, not too many books, because I consolidated and put more money into getting that X-Men variant cover with the top loader. Top loader was only an extra two dollars, so um, on the ten dollars, so that was twelve dollars by itself, and that was about it. So I'm gonna do some reviews for these books coming up. Um, first review that I'm gonna do um, possibly tomorrow is um, X num X Men number one, and then I will move on to uh, flash forward on, in the incoming days, right? Um, some of the older books that I picked up on the last comic book day, I may do reviews for them. For example, um, Ice Cream Man number, I think it's, um, I'm looking at the book from here. I think it's number 15. I didn't do a review on it, and nor did I read it. Some of the books I leave to read on certain days because it helps me uh, throughout the week during the work week to make it a little bit more manageable and to do things. So instead of me watching TV shows, I might come home and, and read a quick comic book or, and go on to my regular actual books that I'm reading. So anyway, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you thought about my pickups and did you get similar books as me? Um, or were there are some books that I didn't get that I probably should have gotten this, this week if they were like a number one in particular, right? Um, so this is Zen from Zen World saying peace, love, and prosperity. Have a great week, everyone, and I'll catch you all later on the next video. Take care.